Oh, I'm sweating already. <laughs> yes. Liquid bravery, English style. Hello and welcome friends to my shiny new channel. Yes, it is true. I have indeed joined the ranks of the costumers, and I will be sharing with you all the dabblings that I do that are based around the 15th century. My name is Jo and I hope you'll stick around to see all the triumphs and the many disasters. So many, so many disasters that come with doing historical graphs. This is the first video of a three part series that will be documenting my adventures in recreating an iconic piece of 15th century history. Why iconic? Well, it's the only surviving extant example of its kind ever to have been found to date. I am, of course, talking about the Lenberg Bra. In 2008, during some extensive reconstruction and archaeological investigations at Lenberg Castle in Austria, a vault was found under the floorboards of a second floor room. Among all the dirt and dust that they removed, they found 2,700 fragments of textiles and among them was the unique piece that was going to be more widely known as the Lengberg bra. After five separate carbon datings it was confirmed that all the textile fragments did indeed date to the second half of the 15th century and when you coupled that with historical records it was concluded that the fragments were probably put in the vault when another story was added to Lengberg Castle by the then Lord Virgil of Graben in 1480. It's theorised that the textiles were possibly owned by the Moshiomer family who lived at Lengberg Castle between 1419 and 1480. So why is this so special? Well apart from the fact that it's pretty rare to find any kind of surviving textiles from the 15th century unless it's been actively preserved like saint's clothes or if you get the occasional uh, wet environment survivor like the moibog gown it's so special because it's underwear it's underwear i mean i don't know about you but who actively preserves their own underwear when the lengberg bra was found it confirmed that this kind of garment was worn it was a thing in the 15th century and that's big in Austria at least, as I'm yet to find any kind of English source that shows that this kind of supportive garment was worn. Regardless, I still think it's really hecking exciting. <laughs> well, it is for me anyway. So how could I not take up the challenge to try and recreate this special piece of history as historically accurate as I possibly could. So appropriate materials, appropriate techniques, hand sewing, it's a thing that has to be done. I've never made anything quite like this because it's, it's very tailored and it has to be in order to have the support that you need. So there's going to be a lot of new skills to learn. It's going to be a very steep learning curve, but I think it's going to be really interesting. So. You might want to grab a cup of tea for this. <laughs> Let's go! I started my medieval lingerie quest on my mannequin, who I fondly call Jolene. In my head, it made sense for me to try and create the body part around the boob first. So I cut a big X in the cotton to accommodate said boobage and began the repetitive task of smoothing the fabric around the curves until it sat how I wanted it to sit. Next was the fitting of the cup, which is done in two unequal parts. Starting with the larger outside half, I pinned it in place, but it ended up going back to readjust the body piece a little bit. Then I added the other smaller half of the cup. It took a lot of finagling to get them both smooth and straight, so... If you're doing this yourself, don't worry about it, it's going to take time. Then, when I was finally happy with how it was sitting, I bust out my trusty pen and began marking it all up. First I drew around the cup, then I sketched out the shape of the garment using reference pictures as I went along. Once 
once that was done, I just cut away the excess cotton so it doesn't get in the way and then use said scrap to form the shoulder strap. It's always handy to hold on to the cutoffs when you're doing a mock-up because you never know when you may need them. Next, I pinned on the simple back piece. Realised that my shoulder strap was slightly too short. And then marked out the necessary lines. This is the mock-up that I did off the dummy. What even is this? <laughs> it's not right at all. I am not a wizard. I do have my bra on underneath because it's got quite a good shape and uh, support. So I want to try and get it as close to that as I can. And as you can see, um, it's not against my sternum as it should. Uh, Peter is holding the side because there is quite a... <laughs> Sorry, there is quite a gap in the side, so that's not wide enough. My left boob seems to be better than the right boob. I mean, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see this here. There's some sort of pulling that happened here. I don't know why, but yeah, that's not right. This one seems to have come out a bit better. There's a bit of a gap here, so it might ne need like shortening, just maybe around here. And there is a gap just here that's going to need some adjustment on the non-boob piece. This needs to be lengthened a little bit more because this is my natural waist where the end should be and where the skirt begins. I like the position of the straps. We need to take in a little bit here, we need to widen this part here and widen the side. Otherwise, yeah. I say otherwise, it's like there's only one thing to do. No, there's a gazillion things to do. But it's a first mock-up, so what do you expect? I suppose we just get doing it, really. Thank you. try to like sellotape this close. Ah, it's so tight for me. It was just to try and get a little bit of tension so this isn't moving around whilst I'm making adjustments on this side. And look, you can actually see just how bad this side is now. Look at that. <laughs> I've pinned in this center line that's going down the boob. Um, it's purposely off center because that's how it is on the extant garment. Go away, Ken. No, oh, go away! So, yeah, that's how it is on the actual extant because they figured out a way to resolve a problem because if you have it in the middle, your nippleage tends to try and point outwards. This way, if you've got it, the piece on the outside is bigger than the one on the inside, it pulls your boobs back in, basically. I have... I don't know if you can see this line here, but yeah, I've basically made a line going along here just to make this top bit smaller because it is very... So I've just made the cup a little bit smaller, but extended it a little bit down here because I can feel where the wire of my actual bra is. So ideally I want that, that's where I want the cup to be, just to, you know, gather the girls in properly. And oh, and yeah, oh, ow, it's been 
stab at me. No, stop stabbing me. And I just took this up a little bit. Um, well, I say a little bit, it's actually quite a lot. Yeah, really thunk. Yeah, I took that up a little bit just to support better. Hopefully that made some sort of sense, cohesive sentence, quest. Now I've got to go and find some more mock-up fabric, quite possibly an old bedsheet. This was once a cheap bedsheet and look at it now, it is now a boobin holder. I have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm gonna go. So that's all the pieces that have been cut out of the mock-up. You can see like all of the adjustment lines that I've put on here. Um, so I was about to begin cutting that out when I realised I made a bit of a boo-boo. So I did make this sketch. Let's see if we can zoom in. Huzzah! So I did make this sketch before I even started making this just to give myself an idea of what I was doing. And yeah, I made a big mistake. I didn't realise it at the time. But this, just here, okay, I've got it so that there's like an extra bit of fabric that goes around the top of the boobs. Well, the original doesn't have that. And I have no idea why I put it in. I really don't because I've been staring at the original pictures for hours. And yeah, this does not exist. Not at all. This part goes straight on to the cup. And then this connects directly onto the cup there. Well, technically it's a little bit lower down, sort of about here. But yeah, I didn't realise what I'd done. I don't even know how I managed to come to that conclusion that it had that extra bit of fabric there. Yeah, so I need to take this off and bring it down a little bit. And it, this part, the big piece, will connect directly onto the cups. So yeah, I just thought I'd point that out because that is quite a, a significant detail. I don't know if that's going to make things easier or more difficult, but hey, it's, it's how it is, so we're going to have to give it a go. attempted a mock-up as you can probably see it is much better than the other one but still not quite right for starters this is where the seam line is for the cups but it should be here it needs to be brought down just a little bit more this is a little bit too baggy so i'm going to have to take in the waist a little bit which which is good you know i'd rather it be too big and i can take it in than rather try to do guesswork to make it bigger. I still haven't fixed this issue where the bit between the boob needs to sit against your sternum. I think that might be because of the cup shape. As you can see, this is where the, the seam is of the cup, but really it should be sort of in here-ish. Still too much fabric up here, and for some reason the seam on the cup has gone a bit squonky. <laughs> back so it's got a bit high up there i don't know why is it oh well i see what i mean because i've put i've tried to pull it down at the front to try and get this to sit right uh, but no that's got a bit high up there so i'm gonna have to mark that off but it's getting shape it's getting the shape that i want sort of still got this bit of issue here i'm, I'm not quite sure how to fix it but I don't know if it'll fix itself like once I get the actual cup correct. I mean, ideally, the, the whole cup just needs to be shifted downwards, doesn't it? I have my trusty pen and I'm going to mark it out. Let's give it another go. So, considering that you've already watched me alter this mock-up before, I thought you might prefer to watch me torture myself by hand sewing the mock-up for some reason and then slowly descending into insanity. Hello! 
Kern, we're back with the next instalment of trying to make a booby rock up. So this has gone a lot better than the other one. It's nice and low where it should be. This is exactly where my wire is at the minute. The lines are straight. The waist is fitting much more nicely. It's still a bit high up at the back though. You can see that? It needs to be taken right down. I don't know why it keeps rising up. I mean, yeah, it might be that the straps are too short and it's literally just hauling it up. But the bottom part is nice and level. Huh. So yeah, I'm a little bit too excessive there. And there's still a little bit, it's better than it was. It's definitely better than it was. But I think what I might need to do is actually just, you can see that. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can't, I don't know how to do this so you can see. But this piece of fabric here, not the cup, the actual body piece, that's the bit that's got the slack. So I'm just wondering if I actually bring this part down so it's like it meets the seam about here like take a little little wedge out still not getting this up against the sternum and it is frustrating i'm not sure what to do i mean it might be that i've just got too much fabric in between there but again it's just even if i take that out all it's going to do is basically bring the cups closer it's not going to push this bit in but I've added more fabric to the inside of the cup here and it still hasn't seemed to fix the problem. I wonder, I wonder if I'd like if I wore it without the bra, if it would fit differently. I should probably try that. Yeah, before I go any further, I should probably try it just to make sure that it's not going to change the fit. Okay, let's try that. So this is me without the bra on and it does fit slightly different not a whole lot it just it just feels different because it hasn't got the the wire here for support if you can see like little squares here it's because i've, I've stuffed some extra fabric on there just to um maintain some modesty for youtube excuse me sideways it's a good shape it has got some support the the lines are good like where they should be but again it's it's just it's this but if i take that section out you see how it just basically squishes everything flat and that's not what you want i mean you can see look at that i'm practically boxy like we do not want boxy boob i, I literally am gonna have to just make this half the inner half of the cup even bigger It'd be so much easier if I could just go and that's it, but nothing's ever easy. I think I'm going to need at least like, let's have a look, maybe another two inches, inch and a half to two inches on each cup. If I'm looking at it, you, can't, you won't be able to see this and I'm not going to show you my cleavage. This is where the cup ends, which, and this is where my boob ends. Mark up four. So it's been several days since the last time I did a mock-up and there's been a few changes. So in the last mock-up I said that I needed to do a few alterations and stuff. I did them and it seemed to have made it worse. I decided that I just needed to try something completely different and I started again. But this time rather than starting by fitting it on the mannequin, I actually fitted it on myself. I couldn't film that because um, all of the boobs, I had to just do it off camera and this is the result. And as you can see, it is so much better. Ah, why didn't I do this from the beginning? If you're going to do one of these Len uh, Lengbo bra reconstructions, fit it on yourself. Don't bother trying to fit it on a bra, uh, on, on a bra, on a mannequin first because it just will not have the same kind of shape or proportions or size that is you, no matter how much you try. I mean, I actually fitted that mannequin to my own measurements and it's still not quite right. I started with the bodice 
and I, I basically stuck it to myself to begin with, like double-sided tape, that was interesting. Uh, and that didn't quite work because I wasn't getting like the lift that I needed for some support. So then what I did is I put on my bra, one of my favorite bras, which has a really nice shape and support and it's thin and I pinned it to that instead. And I basically just like draped the cup fabric over. I started here, then I pinned up a little bit up here and then I worked my way around here because this has the most um, shaping that's required. So when, by the time you get to the top here, you're gonna have like a big like wedge of fabric here that you basically pin closed and then I marked it with pen all the way down where the seam would be. And it has come out so much better. The only thing I'm not happy with is that. <laughs> I kind of took a little bit too much off uh, the waist, but it's not a problem. It, it's, it's an easy fix. It's still loose here, but honestly, I do not think it is possible with this design to get it to sit there because there's just, there's no structure here, like you do have on a wired bra. So I don't think it's possible to get it here. That being said, it might change once I put the sprang lace in. I don't, I, I know for certain that this is gonna get pulled in as soon as I do the sprang lace. For an unsupported bra, unwired bra, it's actually got some really nice support. It's, it's comfortable. It's got a nice shape. I'm actually quite surprised. We'll use this. Um, I think there's still a bit more, yeah, still a little bit of adjustment that it's needed in the back. You see how it's pulling up? But I think that might be like a me thing because I'm I'm a bigger boob loader. And basically the weight is trying to drag down on the front and because there's no wire, there's nothing helping it stay up. <laughs> so it's basically pulling on the straps, which is then pulling up on the back. I'm kind of hoping that once the skirt's on it will help this stay down because I can't loosen off these straps because then it might as well just be strapless which is not good. <laughs> it, there'll be no support if I, I lengthen these straps anymore so I'm kind of hoping that the skirt will help with that. It wants to be like like straight across I don't know if I can adjust that. Oh, I don't want to do more adjustments. But I think what I'll do is I will put the skirt on first and see if that helps to fix it. Yeah, we'll do that first before we do anything else to this because this is like mock up. Seven? Seven. Mock up seven. Oh dear God. Why? Why? Why do I do this to myself? It's finally turned out right when I decided to do it a completely different way. So if you're gonna do it, fit it on yourself, have your boobies hanging out in front of the mirror, just do it that way. Don't bother with the mannequin because you will end up with seven mock-ups. Okay, onto the skirt. Okay, so I'm just getting ready to start on the skirt part but I wanted to have a quick look to make sure I wasn't gonna make any more mistakes. So, I got this out. I don't know if you can see this. But yes, it is Archaeological Textiles, Links Between Past and Present. And it is a essay that was very kindly supplied to me by someone called Beatrix Nuts. And she's actually one of the textile technicians that is working on the actual extant. So, if I go to the relevant page, okay, here we go. It says, uh, depictions of skirted undergarments in the visual record uh, have to be a very plausible idea that this garment originally had skirts attached, but were probably ripped away at some point in order to reuse the fabric. Now, if you actually look at pictures of the extant, obviously there's no skirts attached, and everyone seems to be thinking that that's it there's nothing else but if you look very closely i did manage to get hold of some really detailed pictures you can actually see the little bits of thread that is remaining on the bottom hem which um is evidence as they said to there being skirt attached 
ha 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 ha. But how were they attached? I mean, I'll, I'll show you this. This is a reconstruction that they have done. As you can see, skirted and the eyelets go all the way down. And I'll explain why once I've done it. Now I'm wondering how the skirts were shaped. I mean, on here it says, Manuscripts dating from the mid 15th century begin to show a particular undergarment with skirts that are reminiscent of the Lengberg bra. These garments feature pleated slash gathered skirts. <sighs> Which one? I mean, I think in this photograph, I think the woman who did the reconstruction has gathered it rather than pleated. Um, I mean, I know that pleating was a thing but would they have really gone to that much trouble for the undergarment? I mean, I'm, a part of me thinks that like pleating or gathering would use an unnecessary amount of fabric, but I can understand why they would do it because you, you would need that full range of movement. So I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to decide. Ooh, decisions. number 7.5 and yeah I'm really happy with how it's turned out much better than I expected it looks a lot like a dress not what I expected at all but yeah it looks good still a little bit loose now <laughs> too tight before a bit too loose now but that's my own fault I put too much uh, slack in the sides the cup lines are where they're supposed to be the lines going up the cups are nice and straight. We're still a little bit loose here, but that will be brought in when I put the sprang in the middle. It's still a little bit loose here as well, but once that's hemmed, that's not gonna be a problem. Yeah, I mean, look at that, that's fine. I ended up doing pleats for the skirted part. Yeah, I'm surprised, I quite like it, it's not bad. At the minute, the skirt is too long, way too long, it's like skimming the floor. It needs to be brought up to about mid cuff. We've got a slight issue with the back. For some reason, the back decided it wanted to rise up, but it's not a problem. I'll just add some extra fabric onto the body's part, maybe about an inch or so, and that should bring it down so it's not arched at the top. You can see that the side here is open, the same on the other side, and that has a very good function. You do not sew this up permanently at all. It's about mid bum, just below your hips, and down that's sewn permanently but up there up to the bot up to the bodice is left open and it will be sealed with eyelets and lacing like on the bodice why because if this on both sides is stitched up permanently then it's essentially the size of your waist so how are you going to get in and out of it finally the last of the mock-ups thank God. Next step is to, now that I've done it all, next step is to take it apart. Take it apart and then make a paper pattern from it and then once that's done I can make the proper Lengba bra out of linen. Finally. I need a cup of tea. Kind of shape in order to be supportive. So 